My name is Lauren Moore. I'm a host, I'm a video producer at Crunchyroll. I'm gonna be one of, we, uh, one of your moderators today. And with me... I'm Tim Liu, host, some guy. <laughs> All right. So there is a very like deep and long history about the like collaboration and cross fandoms between the NBA fandom and anime fandom. Like they are not strangers to one another. So today we have some incredible guests who are going to be talking all about that. Please give a warm welcome to Cole Anthony, Daniel Gafford, and Lawrence Pachter. Please give Woo! a warm welcome. Come on down. How y'all doing? Welcome. I'm good. Thanks for having me out. And of course, happy to be here. Happy yeah? to be here. How are you doing today? Very excited to be here. Yeah. Good, good. Well, we've got some uh, great interview questions. We're gonna chat for, you know, maybe about 30, 40 minutes, talk yeah. about some anime. Sound good? Of course. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, Tim, do you want to kick us off? All right, for everyone here, let's start this off. What is your anime origin story? How did you get into going, wow, I, I like this, I like this anime? Yeah. Oh, oh shoot, for me personally, um, I think the first real anime show I watched was uh, just like the Pokemon series. So, got into it, that's still my favorite series. I got the, I got the tattoos all over my leg. Ooh. Wow. Gotta, I gotta finish the sleeve, gotta finish it. But, um, <laughs> watch that. Is that your team, is that your team on your? Oh, no, I just got a bunch of random Pokemon I just like. Just that bunch you of like? Nice. nice. And um, so, so watched that a bunch. And then I think the second anime I really watched is Dragon Ball Z. And so the watched classic. that and just nice. just kind of saw it. I think it was on like Adult Swim on like Cartoon Network and some. Just, you know, I was a bad kid staying up late. And um, <laughs> just watched it, watched it, watched it. Got into it a bunch and just, you know, honestly, I think from there I found out about Crunchyroll and just made an account and just started watching a lot of anime. Better being we a bad kid that it. stays up late to watch anime than go out and you know do bad stuff. So yeah, I think it's much worse things I could say. My origin story was, of course, you know, my first one was Dragon Ball Z. You know, I got the same. I, mean, I basically had the same Dragon idea as Cole. Uh, you know, I got tattoos. the tattoo and stuff. So. You know, I'm trying to just have a bunch of random Dragon Ball stuff on my left leg. But that was my origin story. You know, just like with the Adult Swim, staying up late. You know, I had a real heartbreaking time with it because my dad said it was too violent for me. So every time I used to watch it, he used to turn it off. But, you know, oh, me, no. like how Cole said, sneaking to watch it. That's the only. Reason, that's the only way I used to get to watch it. And now just. Coming up, just having, you know, the love for it. You know, I got Crunchyroll, I got Funimation. I watch it as much as I can, you know? So that's my story. Heck yeah, heck yeah. I'd go with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but what really got me into it was reading the uh, Dragon Ball mangas. And then from there, nice. Dragon Ball watching it, and then Dragon Ball Z. Nice. To so the original when Goku was a little monkey boy. And yeah. then all the way he grew up, and you <laughs> oh, watch yeah. the whole adventure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so our next question I actually want to ask for Lawrence. You're the creative director for Hyperfly. Um, can you just introduce your brand? Like, tell us a little bit, what is Hyperfly? Sure, yeah, we're a technical sports apparel brand rooted in martial arts, specifically jiu-jitsu. Um, so anything for training needs, for when you're on the mats, you're off the mats, and you're in the gym. Um, really, we kind of do it all. And then from there, we got into working with the NBA, uh, doing some um, we actually took all of the NBA properties and translated them into katakana. Then we did um, we Mandarin as well. And then uh, I think we're, we believe we're working on Hebrew as well. But um, that's who we are. Yeah, we're a martial arts brand. I'm going to ask a hard question for everyone here. What is your favorite anime? Cole? Shoot, so I'd say it's, it's shuffled through a few different animes throughout the years. But I think now it's definitely, I want to say, Attack on Titan. That Ooh. Is, it, yeah, it just that that, that show just it's a show that the more I watched it, I'm like, yo, this is really crazy. Yeah, like, we just started the first episode, and you're like, oh, it's a happy little bit. Oh my oh, god, you got no, oh no, my god. No. And, and like, it's just it's so much like of the origin story and stuff you find out as you kind of get into the seasons. And I yeah. was just like, yeah, this is this is a really good show. Were you one of those people that had like your notebooks trying to keep track of like what are all the different factions? You know, and... I was never really good at taking notes, but I watched like, <laughs> I, I watched like a YouTube video to help me out. And I, okay, like, there somebody, you go. somebody there else you go. took yeah. the notes. Yeah. Someone yeah. else <laughs> took the notes, and I just kind of was like, all right, I'm gonna act like I knew that. Love it. <laughs> yeah, no, Attack on Titan caught me by surprise too. That was one of my favorites whenever I first got into just like actually taking the time out to watch it. I tried it at first, and then I was like, man, I don't really like this. Then I seen when they had the Colossal Titan just staring over the wall. That was like, that was like, okay, okay, I think I can get in. To this but yeah. like my favorite of course was like when I was growing up was Dragon Ball Z but right now it's Black Clover 
black clover. Of course, nice. you, know, you know, black clover is, is fire, you know. And I always like the underdog stories. You know, Asta, you know, he's anti-magic. And everybody thinks he's like, oh, he's just some puny dude that ain't got magic. And then out of nowhere, he pull out this sword the size of a 70 inch flat screen TV, you know. And he's buffing <laughs> and he's just he knocking picks it up, stuff he picks it up because so he's just so like, buff, oh, yeah. yeah. I, like, I like Asta a lot, you know. And I, I need his workout plan and everything too, so I'm still trying to find that. <laughs> Yeah. I, again, I got to go with Dragon Ball just because of um, Goku and his mentality of training. As a martial artist, I apply that every day. Every time I get beat, I come back stronger. And I usually try to pick the biggest guys in the gym to train with because I know they're going to make me better. So Goku I always mentality. have that Goku mentality. You pick the Broly. That's that yeah. The Broly of the Goku group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Broly yeah. Yeah. the cheering of the group most yeah. definitely. <laughs> Oh. Um, our next question is actually for Cole and Daniel. So um, we've seen that you've both expressed like a love for Goku. Obviously, you've met like we, we got the tattoos. Um, what role did Goku play for you in your childhood? Um, with me, just you know, it's always a saying: if you fall down nine, get back up ten. You know, and just That's with him, you know, I've seen all the episodes and stuff where he's really got beaten the crap out of, you know, and he always got back up, you know, with that Captain America, I can do this all day type mm -hmm. attitude. So that's just kind of like how, you know, I look at life, you know, you might have one rough day, but then the next, you know, that day might be just great, you know, and then like, just take uh, the time where Frieza, of course, snapped and he killed Krillin. Mm -hmm. You know, Goku turned Super Saiyan. It's just like, oh, okay, now I gotta take care of everybody that's around me, you know? And I'm a real big family person, so having that kind of like mentality with just like with Goku in that situation is just something that I go day by day with. Yeah, you thought it was just fighting, but we're kids out here getting life lessons from anime. <laughs> you know, we got the come up is real for sure. Yeah. <laughs> No, nah, really, yeah, with Goku, I mean, like, he's, look, it's just, it's super dope, and I kind of can relate to it. He wasn't supposed to be, you know, he was a low-class level warrior. He wasn't supposed to be, become the most powerful Saiyan ever. He just, he just, you know, worked, 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 fried himself in his work ethic, just was always up to the challenge, didn't really care, kind of just threw his life out there and was just like, yo, I'm just going to work harder. I'm going to just, you beat me, shoot, as he said, I'm going to get back up. It's cool. Yeah. And another, really just, like, Another part of it would be Vegeta, of course, too. You know, of course, Vegeta is very slept on because he's initially like the sidekick of it, but he's low key making like his come up right now yeah. from like all the stuff that I've seen with the mangas and stuff. And, you know, just having just like his mentality too, you know, he really just not, he's not gonna back down from anybody. Like during the Dragon Ball Super Series, when he fought Jiren for the first time, of course, Jiren outclassed him in every area, but he yeah. still didn't stop, you yeah. know? And that's just like the mentality that you have to have just day by day, really. I love it. So this one for Lauren specifically. Uh, so you're working with Hyperfly. We're doing collabs with Control and the NBA. Have you seen interest around the anime merch in streetwear and sports? Do you see the crossover happening a lot? Yeah, definitely. Um, Japan has always kind of been a leader when it comes to streetwear around the world from day one. And uh, the way we look at it is that anime is kind of a national extension of that, you know? So. Uh, people like Jordan from Hypeland are crushing it out there. You got the Dolce Gabbana Jutsu Kaisen collection that came out. You've seen, I believe Puma has done some Dragon Ball shoes, right? Um, so the way we look at it is really, it's just a natural extension of that, that, that trend that's coming from Japan. You got Daniel wearing the Ichiran Ramen Naruto hey. shirt. Yeah. 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 Hey. That's like my second favorite snack right now, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing we want to do is like a rapid fire question round. Uh, Tim and I are going to bounce some questions back and forth between Cole and Daniel and just, just answer first thing that comes to your brain, all right? All right. Nothing crazy. Ready? Let's do it. All right. Yeah. First question is, what character could you be in a game of 1v1? Basketball. Yeah. yeah. Could you be? In basketball. Yeah. Krillin. Krillin? Krillin? Krillin. Yeah, that's easy. <laughs> the, height, easy. the height difference is yeah. massive. You're right, you're right, you're right. Shoot. I don't know which one I couldn't be, but like, <laughs> I'm going to go down his road. I'm going to say Yamcha. Yamcha? Oh, yeah. Specifically Yamcha when he's, when like, he's on the crater. Yeah. I, may have, a the I crater. may have a challenge with Krillin. Yamcha, that's, ooh, that's easy pickings. Nah, okay. Yamcha is oh, easy, easy, easy money. Oh, man. So what character could beat you guys in a one-on-one? -on -one? There's an easier, easier one for you. It's out of Vegeta or Broly. Ooh. I feel like Broly again. I don't think Broly would like, play ooh. fair at he most all. I don't think he'll foul me every time. Every you're, done chance, you're done for with Broly. Every chance he gets, he'll foul me. Like if I score the first basket, he's gonna, he gonna go crazy. Yeah. Heavy yeah. body checks by him. Heavy body. Checks. One foul from him is I'll turn to dust. Like yeah. I'll just done for. Just, yeah. yeah. It doesn't have to be a Dragon Ball Z character, does nope. it? Nope. Any. Oh shoot! I'm gonna throw someone a little more outlandish from a newer show. Uh, what's the dude? Uh, 
Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Marshall? Yes. Yes. Yo, he's yes. I, so he, he's man magic. strong, and just I, the and the the one sport uh, I seen the fly probably was called with the, uh, on the broom where he's making himself fly by. Mm -hmm. He's flying up with by my right, legs. Yeah, I'm like, is, yeah, I don't really think I have a chance against this him. This is a show where he's like strong and everybody got magic and stuff. I yeah. haven't had a chance to and watch that yep. yet, but I've been seeing it and he's crazy. You gotta watch that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's he's like kind of he kind of got a one track mind. He probably wouldn't even think about it, but he probably <laughs> yeah. He probably it, it might would kill be, me. It would be over. It would I, be over. Just to chime in, I think uh, Yamcha is the only person I can beat on a one on one martial arts contest. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Poor Yamcha. For sure. <laughs> Poor. He has a lot of stories. You know. Not even here to defend. I thought, I thought Sneak Cole, attacks are his weakness for sure. You know? <laughs> no. I thought Cole was gonna say since Attack on Titan's your favorite, it's like Colossal Titan. Yeah. Like one v one against a Colossal Titan, he'll just it's go. Really boom. Like, yeah, I don't think I could do much against that. Hey, you no, just gotta you really believe. Can. Gotta believe. He's gonna take up the whole court. No Maybe matter. Armin though. You think you could beat Armin? Yeah, of course. Yeah. But, yeah. Armin, there Armin, we go. Armin back to question though. one. Armin, I mean, Armin is now the Colossal Titan. He's so very strong. Yeah. Yeah. He done had a real big Captain up, Captain you know? Levi. It's over. Captain Levi. Captain Levi. Yeah. He's short, but Levi is short though. I don't know. I feel like I don't think he got me. He's got that agility. He's got agility. He do, but I got the strength. Oh, really versatile, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the thing, since you guys are tall, like they have all the all mm -hmm, the gear, like mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. probably over for y'all. Yeah, like Levi might see me as the colossal type. Yeah, you know, from, yeah. Correct. <laughs> correct. Don't, correct. don't let him do that. He'll pull out the blades really and it's, yeah, cut. Yeah, it's yeah. done. All right. If you had all seven Dragon Balls, what would your wish be? Go. Money. Okay. <laughs> Real easy. Yeah, money. Money? Money, All for right. sure. Actually, <laughs> Lawrence, too. Seven Dragon Balls, what would you wish for? I've always wanted to fly, not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, I, I can't jump. I can choke people, so give me the power to fly and... Do you want to do you want to clarify that for the audience really quickly when you said I can choke people? Yeah, you do jujitsu. Yeah, 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 jujitsu. You know yeah. jujitsu. It's, yeah. it's his job to choke people. <laughs> okay. Creative director slash choke choke guy. Yeah. You know, may, may, I just get quoted on choking people. That's it. Yeah, there. Man, not one world peace. Mm. All right. <laughs> Tim, you want to do your next? Who's one? your anime selfish. crush? Bulma. There's so many. As death, Akame got killed. Anime crush. Oh, Ooh. the Akame got killed. Which Ooh. one in Akame got killed? As death. Oh, as death. Oh, you're like a nice. You're like a little. She, you know, she got icy that. queen. She's kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something about a powerful woman too. It just, you know, yeah. it just really does it for me. Respect. Respect. I can't choose. I, can't. I did hear a Bulma. I got I a few. Choose. I think Bulma I or what's uh, what's the Android? Um, Android 18. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Good. Good, solid choices. Yeah, that's why I picked Krillin on the one. You know, I'm gonna play him. You, can, you, you beat Krillin in a basketball Krillin. game. You take his girl. Like, no, come on, leave Krillin alone. That's, that's a lot of package. trees right now. I feel bad for that. You already All right. Uh, what is your guilty pleasure anime? So, like an anime that you're like, oh, I watch this on the on the low. Like, I just enjoy it. Maybe it's just a good happy time. Guilty pleasure anime. I don't. I don't have one. No, that's, that's I don't. powerful. I just, I just watch anything, you know? Yeah. Like, any, if I get looked at any type of way, it's like, hey, man, it's a good show. I can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Cole looks like you got is something. Is it? Cole? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you look me in the eye and tell me if this is safe to say on the stage. Because <laughs> I, I got a like, few. Okay. <laughs> like, they're like, they're good shows, but like, um, right. I'm trying to think. You know what? I'm gonna pass this one for now. You can potentially Smart. come back to me. Smart. Play it safe. It's so I guilty that he doesn't myself. even wanna. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. Thank you. Most definitely gonna make headlines. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Finally, what anime moment gets you hyped up before a game? Is there any that you want? Did you remember and you go, yeah, just like him? When Goku transformed Super Saiyan 3 when he was showing Majin Buu. Yes. That's my go to yes. every time. That's a really intense scene. That's like. That kind of scene kind of sums up Dragon Ball Z. It's literally it's just, just like, him screaming. Yeah. screaming. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally just him screaming and everybody's shaking from him screaming. The like, whole world <laughs> then is shaking when he does that. Um, like, man, Goku crazy. And he's literally like right outside your window in front of a guy that's made out of bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, fighting a pig dude and you're like, is the world really in danger? Oh, it is in danger. Oh, we were like, we're going to die because of this guy. <laughs> I, ha I have a moment. Um, oh. Gohan, when he steps in and defeats Cell, that's that like that moment, I've watched it so many times. Mm -hmm. It gets me going. I most definitely would say Tanjiro, too, mm -hmm. from Demon Slayer. Tanjiro, for sure. Um, in the entertainment district. 
when we started Ooh, seeing clips yes. of his pops. Yes. Ooh, you know his, <laughs> his you know lungs his... are breaking out. He's yeah. like, uh, uh, it's like I still gotta go. Like yeah, he be struggling. Oh, I got I got a good one. I'd say um from um from Jujutsu Kaisen. Is it a uh, mm-hmm. is it Yujiro? What's the name? I don't remember his name. Main, the main character. Yeah. yeah. And um, I think the scene with um with the uh. Um, with the guy when he's doing, when they keep doing like he has like he's the clapping clapper. ability, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. and they're fighting, yeah, and they're fighting, <laughs> boogie boogie, and they're low key, they're low key, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> low key whooping the whooping that uh, that um, the uh, the cursed spirit, and I was like that that scene was that was a crazy yeah, scene. Like him, when him and him go, brother, let's go. Yeah, you, like, do, yeah, do you he, feel like yeah, my yeah, team, he, me and my team, we're out the boogie <laughs> boogie. <though. laughs> he like he, he summed up like that. He made a whole backstory of him. And, of them two together as them being best friends and just like dude I just met I, you like yesterday like, like, yo, like, <laughs> that, I just met you like 10 minutes ago that's real life though that's how fast people becoming friends nowadays shoot mm-hmm. but I thought that scene was super dope nice alright uh, ooh this is a good one what anime character best represents your play style in basketball ooh. if there is any yes ooh, I'm gonna go first he yep. was talking about Black Clover earlier I really rock with Asta you know Kondo was the underdog you know no one really liked, didn't really get a lot of love, just had, at first thought he had no real power, and just, but just grinded, grinded every single day, just worked out, worked out, worked on his body, and so for me, I kind of, like, I, I kind of do the same thing, I just pride myself on my work ethic, and so I just, I, I can relate to that, so i probably say him. Oh, yeah, that's dope, I like that comparison. Mm-hmm. Um, I say Broly, because I, I scream a lot. When I dunk and stuff, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you know? your, your play stuff. Um, I yell a Broly. lot of rollers. I'm uh, just like. So yeah, I would say him for sure. You know, because I mean, every time I dunk, I scream, and every time he fights, he screams. So yeah, that's have my you seen, most have definitely you seen the good comparison. Movie? Have you yeah, seen the, yeah. He 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 does yell. He, he do does be yell. That's like my key <laughs> representation <laughs> of why I chose him for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna actually throw this one over to you as well. Is there an anime character that? has a similar fight style. I mean, obviously, like, you are you fight with a, a specific, like, principle and style, but. I wouldn't say fight style, but in terms of displaying heart and having heart, because our slogan, yeah, 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 our slogan yeah. is you can't teach heart. Um, that's our mantra. And I would go probably with Naruto, just because mm-hmm. he's got mm-hmm. incredible heart. He's always showing it. He's always showing up for everybody on his team, his family, his village. So I do want to ask, um, who are your three favorite characters of all time, and what would happen if they played your sport? So can you imagine your three favorite characters, and suddenly now they're playing basketball? Basically, it's the equivalent of who would you have on your team? Like yeah. three characters that you would yeah. have on your team that you would wipe the, the, the... Let's go. Wait, so not three favorite, three people who just, we would want on our team. Yeah. It can be three favorite of characters or three characters that you're like, these characters, I think will... My first pick, I'm going to take Saitama. First draft, first draft pick, we have Saitama. Yes. Saitama Jeez. from One Punch Man. Right out the gate. He is my point guard. He got plot armor. He <laughs> plays all five positions. He got a lot of plot armor. He might play all five positions. They're I both fighting to draft Saitama yes. uh, uh, to their league. Yeah. Uh, right. I wouldn't want Goku on my team. I don't think mm-hmm. he would get the concept of like basketball <laughs> plays, you know? Unless he turned like Super Saiyan Blue or something. You you spend like most that. of the practice going, this is how the game yeah. works. This is what we're doing. Dribble, I, think the, like... I think the only time that he'll understand something is if he goes Super Saiyan 4. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty much it. You know, that's the only time I've seen him actually like think. You He'd know? be awesome <laughs> at blocking though. He just teleport oh, yeah, right behind yeah, him and then yeah. boom, like <laughs> yeah. immediately. Like... But on offense, he's a total liability. I can't do <laughs> Love the strategic <laughs> oh, thought to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder who else. It's hard not to choose Dragon Ball yeah. Z characters. They all so powerful. Man. I'm trying to think, mm-hmm. you know. But. Uh, what's his name from uh, One Piece that can extend his Luffy. arm? Luffy? Luffy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luffy. Oh, yeah. Hey, I don't play instant. ball, but I'd, I'd, I'd put him on my team. Yeah, if Luffy's yeah. going to be my big man. If Luffy's, <laughs> on the, if Luffy's on the three-point line and his arm stretches and it goes in, is that that's a slam dunk or is that a three-pointer? That's a three-pointer. That's three-pointer. Really? That's a three-pointer for sure. But his arm goes all the way in. Even if he jumped for the three-point line, it's a three-pointer. Shoot. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. That's it. Easy, one, two, three. Yeah, give him the ball in crunch time, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember we talked to a, a football player uh, last Anime Awards. He said Itachi, uh, Itachi Sasuke, uh, 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 Uchiha, Itachi Uchiha, Uchiha yeah. Itachi, who can put the, the, the mind spell, he can mind control everybody so he doesn't even need a play. He just, yeah. he just puts everybody in an He's illusion and just, just do, 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 waltz and just yeah. throws the ball. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who else? Uh, what's Naruto's dad name? I just forgot. Oh, uh, 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 um, I'm trying to think. The Hokage is the, is yeah. the yeah. fourth Hokage. Uh, Minad- Minato. Yes. Yeah, he's going to be my the two guard. The lightning god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to be my two guard. He's fast. 
you know. Got to always have a fast guy, like De'Aaron Fox. Got to always have a fast guy on your team. <laughs> so that's your three? Yeah. All right. I'm taking my second guy. I'm going to take a hit. Dragon oh, Ball Z. he's one of my he's Whoa. one of my favorite characters. I'm a big yeah. big fan of his. I don't like how they kind of did him dirty in the uh, in yeah. Tournament of Power, but he most definitely could have beat Jiren. Like, man, I think that's they, like I a think, whole I think other. Yeah. That's a whole yeah. other discussion. We stay tuned for like Dragon Ball Z. I watched that episode. Yeah. I was like, this is rigged. It's so rigged. Oh my goodness. Shoot, I just know. Daniels yeah, is getting up hype. This rigged. Like, there's no way this could happen. Yo, I just know I play Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, and I know I just be using all, most of his abilities. I'm a fan of them. I just, <laughs> it, a lot of them aren't even that good. I just like them. Yeah, so I just, I throw them on my yeah. character. You gotta play a favorite. Character. You have to play a favorite. Yeah. <laughs> all right, before we close out today, we do want to leave everyone with some current anime recommendations or just general anime recommendations so you all can go home and maybe watch something new. Uh, we'll start with you. All of them. All of them. <laughs> I check my Crunchyroll account. Yeah, go yeah, for it. Got, go for it. Bust. Love this. I love this plug. We didn't even tell him to bust out the Crunchyroll account. He's I just doing it for us. Yeah, yeah. As a Crunchyroll employee, you're making I'm a, my I'm heart a mega so fan. proud. I'm a mega fan. I got the mega fan subscription. Ooh. All right, same. You know, <laughs> my heart. I got that on both Funimation and Crunchyroll. Lawrence, do you have any? Do you have any uh, uh, that you want to recommend to everybody? I mean, I'm late on Demon Slayer, mm. but Demon I'm loving it. Demon Slayer's a good one. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah, I haven't started watching the latest season. Hmm? I haven't watched it. I'm in like the second season with the really? four episodes. You also yeah. mentioned uh, Mashal, Muscles yeah. and Magic. Mm-hmm. Gotta watch that. Yeah, I gotta get, I gotta get hip to that. I, I read the full uh, manga of, um, of Demon Slayer though, so really? I'm kind of spoiled. So I, I, they'll probably change it, I'm sure. But I read too. Me too. I don't want to spoil yeah. it for myself. Crazy. I don't want to do it. I, wanna do it. I will always want to see it like going on during the episodes and stuff. I can't really get in the read. I don't read like that. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I got Akira too on there because I don't think a lot of people have seen it. That's a mu- a lot of people have heard about it. It's an it's OG watch movie. You, you, it's that's a really good. Watch you got to see it. Yeah. I didn't get a lot of stuff that was going on in that movie, but it was really good. <laughs> Just visually, it's such a nice. It it's visually yeah. very yeah, yeah, yeah. very pleasing. Yeah. I mean, if we yeah, let's say if we going back, we can do Inuyasha. Oh, that's yes. a good one. Adult Swim for a good one. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. This <laughs> that's before be a lot of y'all time. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Solid recommendations. I'm right, sure we're taking notes. I, I got a few more. Here we go. Okay, okay, uh, okay. Reincarnation of the Strongest Exorcist in Another World is a Ooh, good one. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, I started watching this again with The Rising of the Shield Hero. Rising of okay. the Shield yeah. Hero. Yep, yep. So the time, yep. the time I got reincarnated as a slime. As a slime? So yeah. That's a we pretty good one. I got to finish good. that. I haven't finished it. Uh, we got some real quick isekai uh, yeah. uh, recommendations yes. right now. I love that. Shout I love out that. to Remus. This is a banger. This could be my guilty pleasure one, too. Uh, Konosuba. Konosuba? It's a good one. Konosuba. That's a fun one. Yeah. Konosuba. That's, that's really funny. I do know that, yeah, there are certain scenes in it when, you know, the, the knights, you know, getting a masochist, you know, in pleasure. You're probably going, I shouldn't show this to It's some people. sick scenes in <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's some sick. Oh, and then, uh, the last one I got is um, Classroom of the Elite. Oh, nice. oh Classroom okay. of the Elite. Yes, awesome. yes, yes. You nice. add some to my list because I, I got to get it to all of them now. We can, we can, we can share a list. Yeah, yeah, you can link up right after this in the green room. And just For sure. Play. I have a guilty pleasure, actually. Um, it's like an ASMR thing for me almost. Uh, watching like anime cook shows, like when they're like preparing meals and they're showing, you know. Food wars? Food wars. Yeah, but I'll anime, like you find them on YouTube and stuff. Hey, if we gonna put some more names out there, I got The Devil is a Part-Timer. Devil is a Part-Timer. The new season is coming so out for that one. Guilty Can't wait for very that. very good. Uh, what else? I just had them on the top of my head. Overlord. Overlord? Oh. Overlord. The theme yeah. yeah, you got the theme I am there. And then, um, there was another one. Misfit of the Demon Academy. Mm, I just yep, watched. Yep. I just watched that and he's fire. Yo, love. Let's for, yo, we have love these recommendations. We have so much recommendations. I got a lot, I love yo. This. Also, yo, so this one's pretty cool. So, the, uh, what's it? Food Wars. Yep. So yep. Wars. it's called. I, I have a chef, and so I told him to watch that. And so he wa- he watched it. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you told him to you make food wars. Yeah, I had him watch, yo, but he, he was telling me he was like, yo, he was like, yo, like they're doing like this is like real stuff they're doing. Yeah. He's like he's like a professional chef, and so he was like, "Yo, they're they're like making like real meals. Oh, it's all it's all cool. like real." And I saw, I thought that was super dope. That's you, cool. You, yeah. You, you tried the bacon wrapped uh, uh, the first episode where they wrapped the bacon with like the potatoes. You, you know, know I'm yeah. gonna send him that because I'll be sending him random stuff I see on like Instagram, TikTok, <laughs> and he'll make that. So I'm gonna the rice with call. the gelatin with yeah. the gelatin that it falls in and it melts right <laughs> we, on we there. We gonna try yeah. all that. That's a good call. So dinner at your house later? Is that? I'll be inviting everybody to my house. So yeah, yeah man. There we go. Just a big anime potluck. Let's go. Orlando, come check in, man. That would be hilarious. You get the you get the food and you have a little you. little screenshot of what anime it's from and be like, here, check this out from this meal. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, we're going. We're all going to Cole's house. Yeah. Now, so uh, new birthday we'll party there. idea just dropped. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. All right. Well, before we take off, uh, Lawrence, we actually just did a partnership that we just announced, Hyperfly NBA Lab. Do you want to talk a little bit about yeah, it? Yeah, could we have the next slide on so we show off the yes? So, so Lawrence, before we wrap it up, could you tell us a little bit more what's to come, what we got going on at the booth over there? Yeah, like, I'll yeah. give you guys a spin. Yeah, let's, uh, let's all, let's all do a... Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, one of those shirts. Here. Our shirts. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so we got All Might on the back for this one. Um, this is, we're dropping the collection here. Um, it's a, it's a pre-drop, basically. Uh, we'll be dropping the full collection later this year with multiple teams. We got you guys covered. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll also be doing satin jackets and really nice chenille hoodies. Ooh. I, I'm going to exhale for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're letting, right now, you're letting it know right now. For the record, for the record on the camera. And yeah. the, the booth is all the way on the other side where the NBA lab stuff is. Mm -hmm. It's hard to miss. All the way in the back. There's like a big bus there. You can throw some hoops. Yeah, you got a yeah. big little, yeah. little all mic with the characters. basketball. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you cannot miss it. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you all so much for joining us. Let's have a huge round of applause for our guest today. All right. All right. And that is it. Please have a rest Thanks, of a great NBA con. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Please give a, another big round of applause for our lovely guests.